Hello everyone. Happy St. Bridget Day and happy Imbolc. I was so delighted last night to be able to offer the Bridget Day and Imbolc celebration. I've already heard back from people how Bridget is deeply present with them today. And I myself felt the same thing as we entered into some ancient rituals which welcomed her into our lives. As many of you know, I moved to Ireland from upstate New York in the US. While there, I had quite a remarkable experience of Magdalene and Bridget appearing. Both of them appearing as these shining, luminous beings. And they were standing parallel to one another in front of me. And then slowly and gradually they started walking towards each other. And they got closer and closer and closer. And then they joined and merged. It was a deeply humbling experience to witness. And it is coming back to me now. And I'm feeling called to <clears throat> explore this more. What were they really doing? What were they saying? What were they showing? As with any spiritual experience. It has many levels of understanding. It has many interpretations. So this coming Saturday, February the 6th, as part of Trusting and Love, the Mary Magdalene Support Group, we're going to be exploring this joining of Bridget and Magdalene. We're also going to explore the holy and healing wells because, of course, Bridget is deeply aligned with the healing wells here in Ireland. And from the Judaic Christian tradition, we have Prophetess Miriam bringing forth the healing and holy wells. And I'm going to be working with Magdalene as also part of that tradition and lineage of working with the Holy Well. So we will explore this. We will also explore healing herbs that also join very naturally with the Holy Well. And every tradition, every country has their natural healing herbs. So we will see which ones appear to us. As always, we begin with prayer and meditation. I'll be speaking a little bit on Bridget, St. Bridget. And then we'll see what Magdalene and Bridget have to say to each one of us. That's what I was so beautifully, um, I'm always in awe um, when people share their experiences after we meditate. So many unique experiences, each soul receiving exactly what they need. And that's always my prayer before we gather. So for any of you who wish to partake in the Bridget Day celebration, you can um, email and get the link and you can watch the recording. And um, you can also join with us this coming Saturday. This day of St. Bridget Day and in bulk is also for me a very personal day as it was the day that my mother died, 11 years ago now. 
And so this time is also a time of our ancestors, a time of those who have gone before us and already living in a new life. So we will also understand how the ancestral lineage can help us in these times, how we can draw deeply from the well of their wisdom. It is a beautiful time of the year to gather, to go deep into the mysteries of what has been our heritage, our past, and how we are now being called to take that up and to live it in a way that makes sense and is relevant and is healing and is invigorating, inspiring to us today. For me, all the mysteries that I've studied, all the saints, all the mystics, all the traditions, that has always been my prime objective. How do these ancient wisdoms speak to us, but how do we make them our own? How do they come alive in us? And how do we come alive in them? So looking at this joining of Magdalene and Bridget, not only will we see what that means on a greater perspective, but what does it mean for us personally? What does it mean when we join with them and they with us? So this is what I'm hoping we will all experience right down to the bones of our toes. So please do join in and uh, feel free to bring a friend, a neighbor, even though we're on Zoom, the energy is palpable and powerful. So I wish you a happy Bridget and Imbolt Day. Shlana.